In this video, we're going to look at the uh, joystick here. And so the halfway position, we expect about 512. As you can see here, we have uh, two, an X axis and a Y axis, two directions that it monitors for the joystick. So let's push it all the way forward. I'll kind of go slowly, but you'll see the X axis went from about uh, 520 to 1023 so it went up when we pushed it forward and uh, now we're centered again 520 now let's work our way down and you can see now it goes down to zero and if I lift it up enough you can see we got a number in between zero and uh, 520 now the Y axis I'll move the joystick to the left and you can see that the Y axis goes down to zero once I get far enough to the left and then if I go to the right it also goes up to 1000 and uh, almost 23 right there but uh, it's maxed out right now so if I go to the upper left you can see they both change X axis goes up well Y axis goes down if I go to the bottom right, then the Y axis goes to zero, and uh, or the X axis goes to zero, and the Y axis goes to its maximum 1022. And so, depending on the position of the joystick, these two numbers basically narrow down what that position is for some other uh, circuitry. All we have is the joystick on here now. So also there's a button. You can see there's a one right there. This joystick, like my PS4, if you push down on it, like a button, now it goes from one to zero. So now to build this project, really all we had to do was uh, a little wiring with this Elegoo Arduino board. It's a uh, Mega 2560. Arduino lets other people make their boards and put their names on it. And uh, it's open source stuff with the software. And so it's uh, the same as an Arduino board, just somebody else makes it. And so Elegu put together this kit. It's uh, really nice and I recommend it. I use this in a lot of videos. But all we had to do was attach five wires. So let's look at the wires quick. They're labeled on the uh, joystick. So we have, uh, it'll look like we can actually pop this off right here. There we go. So we have here the uh, ground on the top. So there is a brown wire up there. I know the color isn't showing up very well on camera. We have a red wire for the uh, plus five volts there. And then this is an orange wire going to VRX. So that's the X axis. And then we have a yellow wire to VRY. So the voltage for the variable resistor, actually a potentiometer for the Y axis. And that number we were getting when we move this, actually, this is kind of cool to look at too. You can see these little rails there that it slides up and down if you're looking at it this way like that and then when you go left or right you can see it just moves a little rail left to right too so pretty cool little thing and uh, I guess there's stuff for adjustments I don't know I didn't look at it uh, that close but in any case we have the uh, voltage for the potentiometer for Y and so potentiometer is a type of resistor if you don't already know that there's a you connect one side of it to the positive rail so 5 volt and then the other side of the potentiometer to the negative rail and then depending on the position you'll have a voltage in this case somewhere between 5 volts and 0 volts depending on how close you put it either to the uh, positive rail for 5 volts or ground rail for 0 volts and anywhere in between so when it's sitting here it's about halfway and that's how we got that number it was 520 but it should be about 512 which is close so I bet there's some way to adjust that so in any case 
let's move along. There's also the switch, the uh, green wire right there. So you'll notice that uh, the green wire, that comes to pin number two. These are digital pins. So it's got pulse width modulation. But these are really good at just turning on and off. Now, the uh, orange and the yellow wires here. So this is the female side of this jumper. And then the other end of these jumpers, there's a male. Right there, male plug, right there. So that's plugged into two, a digital pin. And, uh, okay, it does say digital pin on there. I don't think it's going to show up too well. But uh, we got digital pin there. Let's push that in all the way. So that's just on and off digital. And uh, these ones are analog. So you can see A1 and A0. So the kit here, they have a disc and they show you wiring this. So it's really easy. But they show the uh, yellow wire going to A1 and the orange wire going into A0. So these are analog pins. And that means you put the voltage somewhere between 0 and 5 volts, anywhere in between there, or 0 or 5 volts, and it outputs the numbers, as we saw earlier. And uh, so basically it's just looking at between 0 and 5 volts to give us a number between 0 or uh, 1023, but it looks like it stops at 122 in this particular case and then of course the power pins just go directly to the power so we got five volts for the uh, red one and then the brown one we go to ground and so after uh, filming that because I haven't really inspected this terribly closely but uh, right here that's actually the uh, switch when you push down so you can see this sticking out and then everything moves down and it pushes a push button switch that's why we have that click right there. So that's pretty cool. It's just a uh, basically a regular push button switch that I use in uh, a lot of my videos. So now other than plugging the USB into the board and uh, plugging that into the computer, we're all done with the wiring. And so they have a PDF file here. I usually open it with uh, Google Chrome because it just loads better than Microsoft Edge. But uh, that gives you the lesson plan, so I'm not going to open that. That's uh, probably copyrighted uh, material. But in any case, all we have to do now, we go to code. And uh, of course, you open that PDF file, they explain this uh, lesson. But in any case, it's lesson 13, analog joystick module. All we have to do is double click that, double click that. And uh, this will open up the Arduino software. So right there. It is uh, opening, it's loading down there, and I'll try to uh, shrink it down a bit so you can see it a little more. But anyways, there's there's the coding. I'm not really going to go into the coding, but uh, uh, they they got notes there and stuff. But uh, this this is the coding, and one thing is we have that delay. If you notice, the numbers weren't going changing super fast. If we wanted to see the numbers change faster, we would make this delay go uh, a lower number. So 1,000 is one second. This is 500. You should have noticed that uh, it updated about every half second, and that's why. And uh, so, in any case, uh, the coding is more detail than I'm going to go into this video. But uh, for now, I have the USB on there so I will plug it into my laptop and uh, we'll hear a beep when there we go no I turned the volume down okay so it is uh, plugged in but uh, in any case we don't have to worry about the library on this one I've had to in other videos but uh, now I'm just gonna go up here to actually right here we can upload with this button now you see it loading and uh, we should have no problems at all and uh, there we go it uh, uploaded the program it was on the board we just took it off and put it back on and uh, that's it for this other than I think it's tools yeah serial monitor to uh, get the numbers right there 
So there you can see it going through about every half second. So let's go over here. Actually, we, to change this, we need to start a new file. So I haven't done that in a long time. I'm not going to do that. But uh, you'll notice about every half second it updates. And that's literally all we had to do, you know, other than getting the joystick and moving it around and watching the numbers change. So it's pretty fun. But what it's doing, we're giving it 5 volts at uh, 3 points. Uh, two of them, though, are potentiometers. So we're getting about halfway. That's about 2.5 volts in that range. If I move it so it goes to 1,023, that is 5 volts right there. And uh, now it's going to 1,023. If it's down to 0, that's 0 volts. So that's what the uh, two potentiometers in here are doing. It's giving us a range between 5 volts and 0 volts in two directions and ultimately that pinpoints where it is and then also there's a switch which is 5 volts or 0 volts that's why it's digital it's either fully on or fully off